tonight with opening statements and really disturbing testimony from a key witness in last year's deadly hospital shooting. 31-year-old Nestor Hernandez. He's currently on trial for capital murder. This is a picture of him. He's charged with shooting and killing two health care workers at Methodist Dallas Medical Center. Our Brooke Rogers has been following the case for us through the week. She is in court each day, joining us live from Frank Crowley Courthouse in Dallas. What's the update from today? Well, Doug and Nicole, it was a full day of testimony. Jurors heard from 10 witnesses about what the prosecution called a murderous mindset that would leave two women dead inside a maternity ward. The capital murder trial unfolded with the premise from the prosecution. Shouldn't maternity wards be among the safest places in the world? That image came crashing down on October 22nd, 2022. When this defendant, Nessa Hernandez, Reaped hell on earth at Methodist Central Hospital. Jurors watched surveillance and body camera video that showed the terror that unfolded when Hernandez allegedly entered his girlfriend's hospital room the day after she gave birth to their child. With the newborn inside, prosecutors say he accused Selena Viatoro of infidelity and told her they were both going to die that day, as well as anyone else who came into the room. They say he pistol whipped her multiple times, and when caseworker Jacqueline Pokia responded, he allegedly shot her in the back of the head, killing her instantly. Viatoro is among those who took the stand and described those moments. I'm still in shock, I can't believe it. I'm like, I don't know, I'm scared, because now I actually believe him that he's gonna kill me and, you know, him in front of our son. Sergeant Robert Renhell with the Methodist Police Department testified about hearing gunshots and trying to keep nurse Katie Annette Flowers out of danger when they both responded. Flowers was shot from the hallway outside of Hernandez's room and later died. Sergeant Renhell said that he fired once at Hernandez to stop the rampage. Jurors could hear Viatoro first screaming not to hurt the baby and then not to shoot Hernandez. The defense asked the jury to listen with an open mind. I believe that the evidence in this case is going to have some twists and turns that they're not anticipating. And I'm going to stand here now and only ask you to do one thing. Do not make your mind up about anything until both sides have rested in court. <coughs> And the defense asked the jury to consider a guilty verdict of murder rather than capital murder. Testimony resumes tomorrow at 9 a.m. Live in Dallas, Brooke Rogers, CBS News, Texas.